good session. No. And we don't do change for the telephone neither. Thanks. Oh. You can leave. She stays. Come on. You keep out of it. D.C. Callahan, from Bridewell. Yeah. Thanks. You want to tell me what that was all about? I was there on business. Got involved in a domestic, some guy kicking off on some girl. Police business? Yeah. Why didn't you identify yourself? Because I didn't want anyone to know who I was. And what was this uh, police business? I was supposed to be meeting someone. An informant? It'd be good if you could make all this go away. Listen, fella, that bar's a wreck. The manager's pressing charges. There's a girl in hospital, and you're down for pulling a knife on a member of the public. It was the guy that pulled the knife. You know who the guy was? No. Name's Suez. He's known to us. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. I appreciate your cooperation. Christ, Colly, where have you been? Should have let him kill you. Okay, let's start with a detailed explanation and work on up to the full apology. I didn't know he was going to turn up, did I? And you were late. Do you know how many favours I had to pull to get you out of that shit? Of which you caused. And why was Sue going for you like that? Because he's a bastard. He's also your boyfriend. Not anymore. Good. What do you mean, good? Because he's the kind of boyfriend who screws other women and takes the money you earn from prostitution and buys heroin for the both of you and keeps the change and slaps you around when you moan about it. I'm not being judgmental about it or nothing. Who's the blonde in the pub? She can have one. What do you call a meeting for, Carmen? I've got some information and I want to know how much I'm going to get for it. Well, it depends what it is. It's murder. It's suicide. right? He's killed someone, and I know who it is, so what's that worth? Look, I don't know. If it's okay, 50 up front, maybe another 250 if it goes somewhere good, it depends. I need 100 up front first. Who's he murdered, and how do you know about it? Oh, no, listen, Callie. They need people at the new bar just opened on Oak Street. I'm going to see the guy tomorrow. I just need some new clothes, something neat and clean, you know. Make an impression. 
I'm sick of it, Callie, really sick. I want to get off work on the streets every night. It scares the shit out of me. I know. Look, I'll see what I can do. It's Katrina Mackey! Who? She's been murdered and you don't even know about it. When was this? New Year's Eve last. God, you'll shite you. How do you know about this? He told me himself, Sewers. He had a fight and he killed her with a knife. Who was she? I don't know, just some girl he knew. He had a fight and he did her. Well, where was this? I don't know, but he used to tell me, you mess me around, Carmen, and I'll do the same to you. What, and you believed him? Yeah, Callie, I believed him. Can I have my money now? I'll call you later. I promise. Where are you staying? At my mum's. Pass things up, yeah? She's moved out. Yeah. Get something to eat. Thanks, Callie. And thanks for some ice as well, you know. Where's Madeline Monroe, anyway? She's been away. You fancy her, don't you? No. I need to see you. Somewhere private. On your own. And you can't tell anyone. And you can't tell Callie. Especially not Callie. How did you know I was in Greece? Will you meet me, Dipoli? No. I am not going to meet you somewhere private. Or anywhere. We've got nothing to say to each other. Not ever. Aren't you even curious? No. You'll come. You know you will. Goodbye. Hello. How was it? Oh. I need a bath now. Sounds fab. Is your car supposed to be waiting? Yeah. I'm on nights. I've got to be at work in half an hour. I'll come with you then. I'm off out. Did you have a nice break, though? I had some time to think. Yeah, that's the problem with holidays. Listen. Julie, if I tell you stuff, the personal stuff that I want kept secret, would you go and tell Callie? No, oh, I expect so, if it was funny enough. No, seriously. If it was about him. Me and him. You and him? Yeah. What about you and him? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Well, if it was about you and him, I'd definitely tell him. You would? Yeah. If you went blabbing off stuff about my brother to me, I'd assume it was because you wanted me to tell him. Yes, but if I told you I didn't... I wouldn't believe you. Well, why not? Because if you want to go out with someone, you always tell the person you want to tell them not to tell them, don't you? I never said I wanted to go out with him. Oh. Is that what you want me to tell him? No. OK. Don't you dare tell him that. Well, what do you want me to tell him, then? Nothing. Don't tell him anything. What if I really don't want you to tell him stuff? Don't tell me about it. Have you got any mascara? Don't you want to know what it is? I know what it is. All I want to know is what you want me to tell him. I don't want you to tell him anything. I, I just want some advice on how to handle it. OK. What do you mean you know what it is? Has he said something? Of course not. He never says anything. I just, I don't want to mess things up, you know, between us. 
Well, if I were you, I'd talk to him about it. Oh, what's the point in that? He never says anything. <laughs> Forget it. Okay. You want advice? Here's some advice. If you're waiting for Mark to bring all this up, don't hold your breath. Have you been? Okay, yeah. How was it? Fine, yeah, thanks. Spain, yeah? Greece. What happened to your jacket? Oh, it got ripped in a fight. Oh, another textbook interview. What? Nothing. Where is everybody? I got attacked in a bar, okay? You surprised me. Uh, listen, uh, Carmen's brought something in. Yeah, oh, terrific. I think it might be worth looking at. I doubt it. Her stuff's usually bollocks. Well, I'm going to go and see Howard about it now. All right, I'll be along in a minute. Let's have it back. Missed you too. Hi, Pearlie. How's Spain? Weirdly like Greece. Oh, yeah, it's a lot saying these days, aren't they? Yeah. So, what's the gossip? Have we got a new DS yet? Joe got moved up to acting. Joe? Yeah. Last week. Can I get on with this? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, Carmen, yeah? Yeah, she's a legend that her ex-boyfriend, Sue, has told her he murdered a girl called Katrina Mackey on New Year's Eve. Ex-boyfriend? Yeah, they seem to have broken up. <laughs> Again? Is this the same guy you wrecked the bar with tonight? Oh, you wrecked a bar now. You heard about that? Christ, not much. <laughs> Katrina Mackey, Katrina Mackey. She's just down as a missing person. No fixed address. History of involvement with drugs and prostitution. She's gone missing before, but always turned up so one way or another didn't spend too long on her. And what's Carmen's angle? She's pretty desperate for money, and she's pissed off with Suez. But I think she believes what she's saying. The missing girl did know Suez, and she was last seen New Year's Eve. Why didn't Carmen bring this in before? She needed the guy. She, she loved him. She was scared of him. Whatever. <coughs> it's a long shot. But we'd better do some digging around. Her dad was the last person to see her. He wanted to speak to us. Doesn't care how late. <laughs> 